Writer, director, Kia Roach Turner brings us Sting. And this is a story about a musician in the band The Police. Oh no, that's not right. Okay, so this is a movie about a wrestler who started off with a surfing gimmick. Oh no, that's not right. No, sorry. This is a movie about a giant spider. That's the right one. Yes, and uh, by the director of the zombie movie Wormwood, uh, Sting is actually an Australian movie, but it's kind of pretending to be a, an American film. And uh, it's coming out around the same time as the other sort of large spider movie, Vermin, which is a French film. And uh, let's talk about the plot of Sting. So we have this apartment building in New York, and uh, there seems to be a meteor which is passing overhead that a fragment comes off and ends up going in uh, this apartment and this fragment of meteorite contains uh, like an alien spider which is captured by this kind of young girl who kind of wants to keep it as a pet but this spider has other ideas and is growing larger by the day and uh, the scientists are rather hungry and terrorizes the uh, the people in this apartment block what will happen you will have to watch the movie and find out so let's discuss what do we think works in this movie's favour? So this is quite a polished movie. It's kind of like a mid-range uh, in regard to budget. So this is not one of your like mega low budget uh, creature features. It does have a nice production value on it. You know, it's not, we're not talking as a high budget movie, but comparatively speaking to a lot of movies that we review here, it's a nice polished movie. I think the acting is all quite solid. Um, the movie focuses on our main character that, that is this young girl and her kind of stepfather really, that's kind of the main sort of two characters. And the, the characters are a little layered, I have to say. There's, that, there's times when I felt the characters were a little annoying, but also times where I felt the characters had a nice emotional beat and kind of bonded. So, you know, it's a good thing that these characters seem multifaceted because they kind of seem like somewhat kind of real people and have a, you know different dimensions to their kind of their personality they're not just like a one note character which is so often the case with horror movies they'll have you know a character will have one personality trait and that will be it so that was all pretty good the effects are pretty solid and the fact that this is an alien spider rather than a kind of terrestrial one means you can kind of do a little bit more with it i i mentioned the movie vermins which is another giant spider movie and that kind of very kind of serious tone to start with, but went very schlocky. This one is always kind of like a, a, somewhat of a B movie, but because it's an alien spider, you know, you, you have the ability to here to do a little bit more with the concept and, you know, you've got that excuse in there. So the movie's tone is quite consistent through. It's, it's very much like the movie Arachnophobia in regards to its, its tone, the kind of the Jeff, um, Jeff Daniels one. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a, a kind of movie which is taken somewhat seriously, but it has a comedic edge without being an out and out like comedy, if that makes sense. There are some amusing moments. Um, there are some kind of uh, situations which are a little scary, but it's not sort of super uh, gratuitous in any type of violence or gore or anything like that. So it's a nice kind of level. I mean, Anna Arachnophobia, I think, is a very good comparison. Uh, this alien spider, I think, is quite interesting as it appears to be somewhat more intelligent than your kind of garden variety spiders, which gives it this kind of extra dimension because you never quite know what it's going to do. And and I, and I found the concept here um, interesting between the relationship between this spider and this young girl because she's keeping it like a pet and it's playing with you like because, again, it's an alien spider rather than like a normal one. Is it going to kind of respond to her? Is it going to kind of recognise her? Is it going to kind of spare her? And I'm not going to go into too much detail with that, uh, but I actually quite like the way that it somewhat subverts your expectations in that, um, which I think sometimes, uh, you know, 
it's it's probably more a realistic uh, depiction of what would happen in that res in that respect. But uh, you know, I think maybe it's it sets something up and then doesn't really follow through with it. But I actually think that was the right move. Trying to be spoiler free here, people. Trying to be spoiler free. I guess one other critique is the movie is ultimately very predictable. We get a lot of kind of red shirts who you know we're going to get it and our main characters will be probably okay. Yeah, it's a very, it's okay. It's just very, very predictable. So as I mentioned, the director here did the Wormwood films, which are very kind of like out there and um, kind of stylized zombie films. And this one doesn't quite have that flair that I think the director had in certainly the first Wormwood movie and to a degree, the second one. This, it doesn't have that, uh, those directorial flourishes. This one much more feels like it's a kind of studio um, movie in regards to the director's artistic, you know, style has been somewhat subdued in favor of making a more commercial film if that makes sense so although i think this movie is not badly directed it's not quite as uh, the direction isn't quite as um visually interesting it's very much a standard movie in regards to its style of kind of direction one thing i think may put people off to a degree is and i've kind of alluded to it this movie is somewhat toothless in regards to kind of gore sequences and like kills on screen we don't get a huge amount of that and we see a surprisingly little amount of the actual kind of spider itself like we don't get huge amounts of screen time with that um i've mentioned the characters and i think the characters benefit from being multifaceted but at the same time i have to say i i felt like they were maybe straight into a little bit of melodrama to be honest with you this family maybe had a little bit too much going on in regards to their kind of their personal circumstance and it felt like um, it was it was kind of like would anyone be dealing with all of this stuff uh, in a way and I'm sure there are people that are but it just seemed a little bit um, we, we need to have this family that are all struggling against the odds etc and it kind of felt a little bit um, you know it, it could have been dialed back a little bit I think to make it feel like a more of a regular family who have maybe have some problems and have some dysfunction, but are not the, the array of issues that this uh, particular kind of family have. And it spends a lot of time with the, the relationship between um, the stepfather and the, and the kind of the young girl. And, uh, you know, again, it's those themes of, of, you know, what makes the father and things. But, you know, there's a little bit of kind of melodrama in there, I, I would say. I don't think this movie, if you compare this to the movie Infested, also known as Vermins, you know, I think the, although I would say this film, the, the tone is consistent, which was not the case with Infested. Uh, Infested started off very kind of grounded, but got very silly. So my issue with that film is that the tone will change. This one doesn't have that. But this movie, I don't think is quite as, as like creepy crawly. It won't give you that kind of like the ick that the vermin did very well. And I think if you were a genuine arachnophobe, Vermin is an incredibly scary movie because the, the, the depiction of the spiders on that, in the, at least in the first half of the movie, seem like they're genuinely sort of spiders that are gonna kind of freak you out. Here, it's just a kind of a big movie monster all the time. I don't think it really uh, ever feels like a real spider. But it is, it's more consistent in tone, I would say, than, uh, than Infested. So, you know, it's, I think movie, a movie like this is an enjoyable movie. I don't think it breaks the mould, to be honest with you. Um, but I'll give it a slightly above average film. Probably about the same as Infested, even though I think the this movie has strengths that the other one doesn't and vice versa. A 6 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Please do leave me a comment and I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now.